Hi there Photoshop Elements users and scrapbookers. Welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. On this tutorial we are going to enter and explore the exciting world of the levels command. Now I know in Photoshop, the full version, there's a more powerful adjustment tool called Curves, but you haven't got it so you can't use it. But this one does a pretty good job. So levels, there's two ways to get at the levels command. You can get it up here through the enhance menu adjust lighting levels or the better way is to go through the layers palette just drop this uh, little menu down here from this black and white circle and choose levels before we get started let's look at the histogram okay now this is the histogram for this image the histogram is really a, a graphical representation of the levels of brightness available or that are actually in an image so this one stretches from if you look here you'll see it going from about 19 to about 255. Okay, the ideal image goes from here all the way up to here, from 0 to 255. So there's actually 256 levels of brightness that should be here. This one over only goes from, what is it, what, 18, 19, 224. I've done some high-end mathematical calculations and figured out that we're missing about 41 levels of brightness. And some further high-end mathematics will demonstrate that only about 84% of the levels of brightness that are available are in this image. So we've got to fix that. We're going to fix it with levels. So let's just kind of move this off to the side. Come on up here to the levels adjustment layer. See, it's good to do it this way because then you'll learn about layers, and layers are cool. You need to know about layers. Okay, so here's the same histogram as we had before. It's now stuck inside the, uh, the Levels dialog. This is the black end. This is the, 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 the shadow end, it's called. This is called the highlight end. This is where you find all your dark darks. This is where you find your lights. And this thing in the middle, this is the midpoint. And it kind of stretches you know, a little ways here. So what we want to do is take this little slider move it up till it gets just to the edge of that clump of the histogram. And you can see it's at about 18 where I kind of figured it might be. And you can see the image got a bit darker too. Now we're going to take this guy and we're going to move him over two down to about 227 which is about 18 you know around there off. I can take it a bit farther but you know you, you really want to get just to the edge. Now you'll see that there is a skinny skinny band of black here and over here. Maybe there's one or two or three pixels in that darkness area, but that's not really helping so much. So I always go just to the edge of the clump. Okay, so click OK to accept our adjustment. And that's what we got now. So let's turn it off. Now isn't that a big difference? You got some color really popping out there and you've got some contrast and it makes it a much better image. So if you just do this one thing on your images for your if you're doing just digital imaging or if you're doing scrapbooking you're going to put a, an image into a scrapbook page just do this one thing you'll have a, an incredibly nice image so that's that's one and you can see up here now we've got things we've got a, a layer mask here which we're not going to deal with today but you could actually back off in some areas so I don't know why I told you that just it was there okay sorry let's do another image let's do this one here this is dangerous Dan's hamburgers See, Dangerous Dan's Diner. The burgers are bigger at the double D. What a motto. I love it. Okay, so this image, let's take a look at its histogram. Come on. There you go. Come on. Get over there, histogram. Ooh, this is a messy one, isn't it? It's got spikes and all kinds of things. It means there's a lot of, this means there's a lot of dark pixels in this one. And you can see them here in the window. And that, to, to really get this clear, would take some other things besides levels, but we can do a lot with levels. Okay, so let's just move this guy out of the way. Bring up our levels adjustment layer. And there we go. Now I'm just going to take this light one and slide it down. Just to the edge of the clump. So this one only goes from 0 to about 183. It's original histogram was 0 to 183. 184 out of 256, that's a lot of levels of brightness missing. And there it is. What a difference that makes, huh? Now let's just move the levels thing out of the way. Okay, so this is after. 
this is before that is a big difference and this one is much more pleasing to look at maybe you don't want to eat there but that doesn't matter at least it looks better okay so that's the second one and let's take a third one here this is just a little aircraft flying along a little f86 um, and it is okay I mean it's not bad the way it sits let's look at its histogram Ooh, this is kind of a weird one too isn't it primarily clumped in the middle and you kind of maybe expect that with the uh, with the aircraft being the prime thing and then a kind of a flat sky in the background um, it is stretching really from about 8 up to about 178 so there's a lot of levels of brightness missing here as well so let's do our fabulous little levels trick with this one and see what we can come up with okay so here levels and we're just going to bring this up a bit you can see it actually darkened down a whole lot there and we'll bring this one down just to the edge of that clump there monster difference this is after this is before this one is not a particularly pleasing image to look at it's just really kind of flat and when you're missing contrast that's what you get you get a flat picture and you know I, I don't know how many times you've had it but a lot of times I've gone out taken a picture of a beautiful scene and really been excited to take it home and look at it and I got home and it was flat well levels always fixes that so that is a big difference so that's what you can do with the levels command they're easy um, it's easy to understand if you really want more information on the histogram I have a page on my site about the histogram um, it's not necessary to know the histogram but it's kinda interesting um, because then you can look at any image and you say oh man that's missing some white or that's missing some black or I gotta do this or that with it and that will give you the uh, uh, the, the information the, the histogram it's all in the histogram let's look at this histogram now you can see now it stretches from, z from 0 to 255 it still has a goofy shape but there's nothing wrong with that shape sometimes you'll get an image that's uh, like a, a white cat in the snow well it's going to be clumped primarily up here or if you take a night shot, I like taking night shots and a lot of my images are, are really high here and they just kinda come down to about here that's okay as well there's no such thing as a bad histogram it's just that you want to make sure that an image like this one or Dangerous Dan's uh, or, or the, the Needlework Sampler that they that you want to see the whole range of brightness in there that you can actually do it so there we go I hope you enjoyed this I hope you find it interesting and use it with your digital images uh, and your digital images for your scrapbook use this technique you'll love it so thanks for visiting pay a visit to my site if you came in through YouTube uh, I'd love to see you and uh, thanks for watching I do appreciate it